I, M24, am in a legal dispute with my own mother because she stole a huge amount of money from me. I just want to get this story off my chest because I don't have anyone to listen to me. My father left my mother when she became pregnant with me because he didn't want another child after my older sister and shortly afterwards my mother met a new man. My stepfather who was quite abusive, both mentally and physically. But I don't want to go into too much detail about that. What is certain is that he hated my guts and I never knew why. She then had her third child with him. My little brother. After my brother was born, my stepfather gave my mother an ultimatum. She couldn't leave him because she was financially dependent on him. He said she had to choose between him and my brother or me. She chose him and I was put in a foster home. At least I was allowed to come home for a few days during the summer but that was it. I met my best friend during that time. The foster home was in a different town, so I had to move to a different school, and we were in the same class. He also lived only two minutes away from the foster home, so I could see him every day. I am so grateful to him as I probably wouldn't have survived that time without him. He even invited me over a few times for Christmas and New Year's Eve and his family even gave me presents. I had never received these before. After I graduated, I moved back in with my mother. However, this only lasted a few months as we very much reverted to old patterns. Normally I would have left immediately, but out of love for my brother I stayed for several months. But at some point I couldn't take it anymore and moved out. That was the last contact I had with my mother. She insulted me by text message for a few days after I left, calling me an ungrateful piece of shit after everything she had supposedly done for me and then blocked my number. This was about 7 years ago now. The last time I saw her was this year when I was at the city festival with my best friend. I saw her there with my brother, who no longer remembered me. Anger built up inside me and my friend pulled me away and said that it wasn't good for me to see them. And he was right. I now live in an assisted living community. You can think of it as a kind of foster home for adults who are studying like me. I'm studying computer science and currently live on social benefits. In case you're wondering how I can afford that. In my country, tuition at a university is free as long as you are accepted by the university. To understand how the legal dispute between me and my mother came about, I should first explain a few things that exist legally in my country. In my country there is the so-called child benefit. This means that you receive 250 euros a month from the state for each child. With two children, this would be 500 euros and if a child moves out of home but still has to complete an apprenticeship or studies, they are legally entitled to the 250 euros until they have completed their studies. But the point is that I haven't seen any of this money for the last seven years, as my mother still received it even though I haven't lived there for a long time. I didn't realize this until quite recently and I just thought that my entitlement had long since expired. We're talking about a total of around 21,000 euros over seven years that my mother indirectly stole from me. And I'm now legally claiming this money back. And since the social benefit I receive works like a loan, I will use the money to pay it all back. The point is that none of this goes by without leaving traces and I hate having to take action against my own mother because I might be harming my brother without meaning to. As I have no contact with my older sister or the rest of the family, my best friend is the only one I really have at the moment. If you want I can keep you updated on how things are going, but I'll be honest. I have almost no strength left. I'm tired of having to fight every day.